guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to wean your baby from the breast straight to a beaker. I never thought I'd be making a video like this, but in Jackson's recent nine month update, I mentioned that he doesn't take a bottle of milk. So I'm gonna go straight from him being breastfed to him having milk from a beaker. And so many of you were like, yes, make a video on that because you've got the same problem. With my two older sons, I did the same thing. I weaned them at about one years old from having breast milk straight to having a beaker of milk. And I think I've got some really good tips because I had to try so many different things to get it right. With my first son, I hated expressing. I had the most amazing electrical breast pump and it was really good, but I still just really didn't like pumping. Um, I got on so well with breastfeeding and then whenever I pumped I felt that all the benefits of breastfeeding was kind of taken away because then I had stuff to sterilize, then I had to get it the right temperature and I, I just really didn't get on with it. It was so much easier for me to just whip it out. It's the right temperature, sterile, all of that. So I guess I was a little bit lazy and I just loved breastfeeding so I didn't really get into the habit enough. With my first son Fraser I went back to work when he was 10 months old. So in the lead up to me going back to work, I was like, I have to do something because he was still having two milk feeds in the day. So I really tried with expressing then, but that was soul destroying because sometimes I would get the milk, like the liquid gold, give him the bottle and he just wouldn't take it. I tried every temperature, everything. So then he wouldn't have that. So then I tried every kind of formula you could ever try at every different temperature, nothing. So I finally met with my doctor and I said, you know, I'm going back to work four days a week and he's still having milk and I don't know what to do. So he said normally he wouldn't recommend you giving a baby cow's milk until they're one, but looking at the size of him and things like that, he was happy for me to give him cow's milk from 10 months. So he said, try it. I tried the cow's milk in a bottle, didn't work. And then I tried the cow's milk in a beaker and I found different ways for it to work. So one thing that I did that really, really helped was to give my baby a smoothie, which was basically me whizzing up a little bit of banana or maybe a strawberry or two strawberries in cow's milk. And he would take that because it was nice and sweet. And if your baby is over one, you can also give them honey, but obviously they can't have honey before that time. So making a little smoothie up, because it tasted so nice, um, he would drink it. And that's all I was really bothered about in the beginning. I just wanted to make sure that he had enough calcium. It's definitely worth Googling how much your aged baby needs in terms of calcium a day. For a one year old, they only need to have eight to 12 ounces of milk a day to get enough calcium and vitamin D. So that's only a cup and a half, so it's actually not a huge amount. So you can definitely top them up with food um, like Dairy Lee and cheese and yogurt and things like that. They can get their calcium that way as well. Another tip is definitely to try different temperatures of milk. Try it at room temperature, try it a little bit warm or try it cold. I think with my first son, when I was trying to give him a bottle of warm milk, it was like he knew like that's not your breast, so it's not the same. But then when I gave it to him like as a cold smoothie, he just drank it because it was kind of like I was just giving him some food. And try different cups and beakers because all of my children have liked different cups and beakers and it's finding the right one. These ones are really, really good. These are newbie, I think, and they're really, really soft. So it's kind of like a bottle, but in a slightly different shape. So even a young baby can get milk out of this quite well. And I used to sort of sit on the floor with the TV on, so he was a little bit distracted. So I'd put on like his favorite, you know, Iggle Piggle or whatever it was, and I would just hold it and he would drink it that way. And he found that really easy to do. Um, or my other son really liked the soft straw ones. So it's similar, but it's literally just a straw. Um, so he would just drink it like that. Obviously I had to start weeding my baby off of the breast because I was going back to work, but I carried on doing the morning feed and the night feed for a very long time after that. I think he was like 15 to 16 months because I really liked the closeness. And that's a good point to talk about because obviously breastfeeding for a baby is so much more than food. It's the closeness, it's the comfort. If you're going to move them onto a bottle or a beaker like this, try and be really close with them at the same time so they 
still get that lovely mummy time um, with you, it's just not going to be your breast anymore. If your baby falls asleep on your breast currently, before you even start any of this, you need to teach them how to self-settle. Um, I have another video on that, so I'll link it down below. But it will be really hard for you to stop breastfeeding unless they can already self-settle. You definitely want to gradually slow down on your breastfeeding, mainly for your own comfort because of your supply. So you want, you want to cut it down by like a feed a week, I think, if you can. Um, and then finally cut it down to stop because if you just stop cold turkey you will get engorged breasts you have risk of getting mastitis and being extremely uncomfortable another really important tip that i wanted to mention is to pick the right time um, don't stop breastfeeding because you're going on holiday or when you're moving house or when you've literally just gone back to work try and do it while everything is pretty normal because if your baby's already distressed in another way it will probably go badly it's worth noting as well that the World Health Organization recommends that you breastfeed your baby for the first year if you can and that's personally why I've always done it for the first year by the time your baby is 12 months old as well they will be getting the majority of the nutrients that they need through the food that they're eating especially if they're having three good meals a day and the last thing I wanted to say is make sure you're stopping breastfeeding for the right reasons um, I personally was ready to have my body back you know my babies were walking around by that point and Caleb could even say muck so he would walk up to me and say muck so I personally felt ready to stop but whatever reason you're stopping for don't let it be because people are pressuring you to stop because you can breastfeed as long as you want to lots of other countries breastfeed until their babies are five six whatever do what is right for you I know with my first son I got lots of questions and pressure like when are you gonna stop when are you gonna stop I got those questions so much more than you know you've done really well yeah anyway i think i'm rambling on now i'm obviously a lactivist as my mom calls it um but you know i'm just pro feeding just do whatever's right for you if a bottle's right for you if cow's milk's right for you or if a beaker's right for you we just have to feed our kids don't we and in the end i got on really well with just cutting out a bottle because i thought what's the point in getting them onto a bottle and then then having to get them onto a beaker so if you're in the same situation you can just go straight to a beaker if it's easier but anyway ask me any other questions down below i feel like i've kind of rambled and just thrown all my information at you but yeah i will see you in my next one <laughs> bye guys